I want to show you also how to create and use the, the displays on your shader. Displays, if you're working with, for example, the principal shader here now, here we don't have, uh, yes, we don't have here, but also we can create the new, maybe we can copy that. And inside this, I can clean a few of the situation, delete some nodes. For example, I can, like this, get blur, I can, Delete, I want to keep only that here. I want to create the displays for uh, my geometry here. And this is, I can call uh, I can create that, for example, with the layer mix. How is working our material with the displays? Displays is a few complicated to use here because we have the displays by texture and uh, for use uh, the display by texture I need to create some workaround. For example, I can jump here and I can create, I need to create here the secondary texture shader, okay? And for create the secondary texture shader, I need to create the displays. I see displays. We have along the normal export and texture. I can create texture. And here I can also assign my texture here for my displays. And I can, for example, take one texture like, for example, I want the logo of Houdini. It's aptly on my texture, okay? And now I can go to the, um, uh, I need to have two particular uh, condition. One is the position and one is the normal for have the good, good displays. And for do that, I need the output, output and parameter. But uh, by default, I, if I look in here, we have also the surface but I want to work with displacement. I choose displacement and here I can uh, connect my position and normal. This is uh, the condition I can do that. And here I can also change with my parameters, with shader, I need to connect it with the collection. And here now maybe I see something, something is wrong, okay. It's a build, but it's very great to build. So we can come here and the fact if I put zero one, for example, I see there is some effects. It's aptly displays. It's very big uh, and destroy when aptly with uh, uh, texturing, but uh, sometimes it's good for rendering. Uh, Personally, I don't love it more, but uh, maybe sometimes it's good. I prefer modeling uh, uh, the, the shape of my, of my displays. However, here now I have this situation, but also I need to say to Mantra to use uh, my properties for my collection. And I need uh, to create three important nodes. One is the properties. One is the layer pack, because I need to create the pack of uh, uh, these displays. And one is my parameter. Now, how work this system with these three nodes? And who is that? 
This is my properties. It takes the properties from the mantra render because the shader that it displays it's it's not really it's the interpretation of the shader and coordinate. And so it's the render option you can find inside mantra. Okay. And you can connect it with the shader. This is the first things we can do it. Here the layer pack, it's create the pack of the your information and the information I need to pack it's the obviously position and the normal. Now we take this information and I need to cook in one particular layer and variable with one particular parameter. Now you can see here we don't have any inputs but I have only the output. I need to create the input here and for create the input here I can create here I have the sorry here I need to when his input is connected in this case I can connect this here okay but I have the error why I have the error because here I need to create the variable to create the particular nodes the name particular name for create the variable inside our contest and for say to Udini to create that know that and use with this value the name is shader layer and obviously I have the problem here because it's float is not flawed but it's structural is structural and here I can choose for example the shader and now it's a start, we can see it's working, something is working, okay? But it's not finished. Here is uh, how is export this value. It's a surface or it's displays. I can also uh, export the bots, but uh, I pay, prefer export the displays. And now I have my export. Inside these properties, I have my parameters, it's uh, export without problem. Maybe maybe the texture here is not good because it's with alpha and we can use, for example, this checker. Maybe the checker is better because he don't have the alpha system and we can see, no, we have also here the alpha system. Maybe it's uh, more big, these effects uh, of my offset, okay? Usually it's work very fast, very good with uh, another system of texture. But however, here now I need to create here the bound effects. The bound effects, I can go to edit interface and here in the render properties, I can go bound and I find the displace bound. Okay, and I can grab an apply here. I can apply, accept, and if it's zero, you see is that. If I have one, see what's happened. Okay, now it's work. And here you have the displace effects, it's apply. This is one, but you can control that with this value here. If you have zero effect scale, you see you don't have your scale. This is very sensible parameter. If you have 0 0.01, for example, you see you have your effects here. It's aptly, but it's not more. But it's aptly here. Yes, you see here it's aptly. And if I have uh, point 0.1, you see you have a lot of uh, displays effects. It's up here. So the part with the, with the checker with the white, it's uh, stay up and the black is stay down, it stay fixed, okay, with this map, this effect. So, and that is the way for create this. Also, I can use inside, and I can copy that also, with the displace. I can use the PBR material. PBR material, 
it's very uh, nice material it's a photo um, realistic material and you can split it in more parts for example the diffuse emission you can go here maybe you can see if I have here but for example for higher we have the IPBR and for example uh, but yes it's a very nice uh, it's a PBR you find the diffuse, the emission, the glass. But if you, for example, use the diffuse, PBR diffuse, and you come back on the object, here in the list, you don't find here my PBR, okay? But for looking PBR, I need to create the material builder. Or I can write the name here. It's if I write name here from PBR, you can connect, but it's not more, um, good way is a more uh, correct way for connect this correct way it's create for example the inside create here inside my p b r fuse and i can connect this from layer and this is is very particular to use because you need uh, Yes, I can connect this is from layer here. For example, and obviously that I can change the color with the red, with the magenta. And you see it supply my red to material here. Okay, when it's start to render. And uh, this is uh, very comfortable with sorry, my magenta. Is comfortable because that material is created by it's, the, it's, it's like the layer and you can uh, use by layer by layer for example the PBR for example emission and you can uh, connect it with the color and you have the emission maybe the intensity 0.25 and you see it's like the mixed or you can use for example the layer no yeah and you can mix that it's uh, uh, you can also have the metallic PBR metallic reflection okay and you can uh, use uh, that for create, for example, uh, the reflection, you can also create another layer mix. You can have this here, and you can connect it uh, here, and you can connect this here. For a very different uh, material metallic maybe it's a red dark red and you see you have the effects of metallic and a few maybe that uh, i can delete or you can connect this and this together with to create the, the layer by layer it's a one by one and connected you can array have a more more elastic material for use that okay this is a all for this lesson on material and maybe we can see more with the example who is very fast to you understand how to use with the example i prefer use with the example because it's very comfortable to use that also in the file you can uh, find uh, the bonus with more example of for understand how is work the material